Mama Sheiks and this is Mama Sheiks here. How are you guys today? Hello friends! And today we are going to be doing a body system science experiment. Yeah, so we have been studying in science all about how the body works. And um, we've had some questions. We can imagine how things work but we kind of want to see how it works in reality and without cutting open a body and watching things work we looked for a way to replicate uh, the body system the heart the lungs many things yes so for today we are going to replicate the human heart Yeah. I can feel my pulse. Boop, 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 boop. So what we need for this experiment is one small container, three balloons, but we're going to use two. We'll explain uh, that later. Yeah. Two clear straws, one bendy straw, water, as you can see here, some red food coloring, but we couldn't find red, so we just um, tried to mix pink and purple to make red. But yeah, red food coloring. To make it look like blood. Yeah, and this is, I think, going to mix with the water to make it look like blood. Mm -hmm. And some scissors right there. Some tape, some duct tape. And two small cups. All right, let's get started. Woohoo! First thing, we have already done the first step, which is to cut the necks off of the balloons. And to duct tape this part, right? Tape it shut, yes. Don't duct tape this part. Now. You make it look like this. Yes. So you should have two of those that look just like that. And the previous suggestions from Kiwi Company was that these were discarded and you needed a third balloon, but we think that we can save this stuff. I like to save when I can. So we're gonna hang on to this. Okay, Ellen. So take that piece that you cut off the top of the balloon you're going to cut a tiny little slit, just big enough for one of these straight straws. Like this? That enough? Yeah, but it's gonna go right into the side like that, so we'll want just a tiny slit. Is it gonna go all the way through, or just no, through one side? No, okay. you just want it to go through one side. Let's see what you got there. You can like stretch it out. No, that's not We enough. didn't quite get it. Not really. Hang on, we don't want to cut through the whole thing. All right, I'll hold this up. You make a small cut right there. We want to be extra safe. All right. Yeah. Is that good? Good job. That yeah. sounds good. Let's see if we can fit it. Looks like a can. All right. Woohoo! We did it. Yay! And we don't want to do that on both, right? We're not going to do that on both. We're going to set this other one off to the side, just like that. Now, next step, Owen. This clear bendy straw, or wait, this clear straight straw needs to be cut in half. Okay. What's a good way to, to make sure that it's about half? What happened? How'd that happen? What was that noise? <laughs> the bending. Uh oh. Um, you can go like this. Yeah. And cut like right there. Yeah. Okay. There you go. They're half. So we have now two halves there. And then as for this bendy straw, 
We'll stretch it out so that it can move around. And we're going to want there to be about an inch and a half on each side, so there's about that. And a good way to cheat and have an inch, this part of your finger is about an inch. One inch, there's about another half. So then we'll want to do about that over here. We're going to go about right there. There? Yeah. Snip. Excellent. Now, let's make sure we, yeah, that looks good. And then place them like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place one of these on each side. Now, this is a little bigger in circumference than this. So, so it'll be a little bit easier. Well, well maybe it'll that, kind of interfere. But we're going to need to make sure that we really do a good job taping this yeah. so that it doesn't leak blood everywhere. So right now... That reminds me of the game Guts and Bolts on Brain Pop. Gross. Yes. All right, so let's tape this really well. Oops, stuck to the table. Uh oh. Brittany, or Mama Sheets, we have a problem. <laughs> okay. All right, just toss that aside. No okay. big deal. Get out of here. Bah, bah, bah. All right, so, one more try. We're going to put that just like that. Well, we're going to want to secure it with the tape. Super tight. Real tight so that none of the blood leaks out. Uh-oh. It's okay. There we go. That's good. So that's one side. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And like right there. Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork. Isn't it fun when you have teamwork? <laughs> Don't you think so, my friend? All right. So I think there that's pretty snug. Pretty snug. Great. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to save these pieces that we cut off. At least one of them. You see how we yeah. have an opening there now? We're going to save that, that we're going to put on the We're going to hang on to that. Grab that, and we're going to use the two straw contraptions that we've already made. We're going to cut two small slits across from each other near the top of that balloon. So, like right up here, across from each other. So one here, one here, on each side. You can do this this way so that you, it's not difficult. Like, cut just like that. Right here. Sure. And remember, these need to be tight also. Okay, so I wanna cut them pretty small. Like that. Okay, yeah. And then guess what is gonna go in these holes? Both of these straw contraptions. Yes, sir. All right, so. Gonna put that one. Switch it out. It fits perfectly. What about the other side? Put that in there. Perfect. Excellent. So now we have something that looks like this. Woohoo! All right. Looks like a graph or something. And we can pull these down a little ways. Pull, pull, pull. And we have to do that. So that it's coming out the cut end. Right here. It's hard working with balloons. They yeah, just the wiggle friction. and wobble everywhere. Uh-oh. <gasps> what happened? Wah, wah, wah. The hole's too big now. Well, good thing we saved the other balloon. Yep. Now, let's try. Let's cut the small, very small slit across from one another. Other side. Nope, you're too close. It needs to be on the other side. Right here. Right there. Okay. I think that that one is too small. But I can stretch it. 
Hope it doesn't break. Oh, it fits! All right, go ahead and push it down so that we don't worry about breaking it again. That's a miracle. Okay, now, other side. Uh-oh, what happened there? Let's just keep going. That might be okay. Okay, here we go. We've got this. Now, we're gonna insert one of those right here. Um, bendy straws into the sled. Wait, a bendy straw? Hmm. That's the bendy straw. We need this. Oh, yes. We're gonna put that at the bottom of this, right? All right so, here. do you remember? Mm, we, we cut a small slit in the corner. So real tiny. Yep. And then we will put the end of that straw right in that hole. You ready? This one? Either one? The one that's connected to the bendy. Oh, this one, okay. It's in. It's in. And it fits nicely. Nice and snug. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh. Here's now, whenever this other one comes in. Now this is the same one. This oh. is where it gets tricky. We're going to use our little container here. We're going to drop that down in there. And then this balloon gets stretched. Stretch it. Over the mouth of the container. That was not hard at all. With and teamwork. we saved the balloon. All right, so you got should have something that. that looks like this now, right? Looks like a futuristic Frankenstein kind of thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, time for the blood. Whoa! What? <laughs> All oh right. yeah. So we've got our three-fourths cup of water. And then we're going to try to make it look reddish. Okay. So we've got pink and purple. What do you think we should go ahead and pour the water in there? Let's try to make it a color first. Ooh. Oh, that already looks blood. Ew. It's unimportant. We might not need purple. Well, just to make it darker, like more realistic. I'm gonna use this piece to just stir it up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Let's just set a drop of purple. Let's see how that okay. looks. What the? Whoa, it's black. Let's stir that up. That looks... Does that look bloody? Not really. I think we should add more drops of pink. Is that good? I think that's pretty good. All right. That looks bloodish. Bloody. Bloodish. Bloody. Okay. So, there we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you're bleeding. Ah! <laughs> I'm bleeding. Okay. Ah! So, what I'm noticing is that this needs to be facing downward. Like this? Like that? Like it should be angled downward even. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer our three-fourths a cup of bloody water into that. into that cup. And it will go on this end. This end? That end. And will the straw go inside of it? Yeah. Like and then on this end, we'll put that right there. And is it ready? I think it's ready. Now, just to be clear, this represents the right atrium, and this represents the tricuspid valve. This is the pulmonary valve. Pulmonary valve. Mm -hmm. And then this is your body. Body. So we're going to pull blood all the way from the atrium through the valve and then through the body. 
All right. I think this is supposed to work by pressing down here. We'll see what happens. <gasps> Uh-oh. Push. Oh, no. Do we have a hole somewhere? We have a hole. We have a hole. Time out. We've got to fix Open it. Open heart surgery. Beep. 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 Man, was that a bloody surgery. Very bloody. Okay, Look at so us. we have done some open heart surgery. And we, it seems like we succeeded, we, but not yet. We had a casualty. Our heart patient was too thin, would not survive. So we got a thicker party balloon, and we're hoping that this is going to work. Three, two, one. It's kind of working. We're doing CPR right now. Come on, stay alive with me. CPR, CPR. Come on. Hang on. Kind of working. I think the more I push it, yeah, the the more pressure you put on it, and the slower you do it, I think it gives it more. Okay, so cardiologist Owen. Holding this valve. See what's happening? It's almost coming up. All right now he's gonna release that valve. Yes. Yay! I did it! Oh. And this is how heart works. I think I too. You have a messy heart. Yeah. Oh. This is super messy. Okay. Pump away. It's working. It's so gross. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Good thing all that's covered up in our torsos, right? Yeah. <laughs> well done, cardiologist Owen. Yes. Whoa. That was a very bloody surgery. As you can see. <laughs> but luckily, oh. our patient survived. Our patient survived. And so thank you to Kiwi Company of Kiwi Crate and Doodle Crate and Tinker Crate, all the crates that we love. They sent us an email with this little DIY. It was frustrating slash awesome. Now time for the lungs experiment day. Lungs. So, what do we need? We need a uh, tape. We've got tape. Um, scissors. Careful. Three balloons. And two straws and a bottle. Oh, and a push pin. There we go. There's the push pin. It looks like you're gonna stick it up my nose. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take one of our 
straws and cut it in half. Like all the way down? Nope. Horizontally. No. Nope. In half. Oh, okay. One for each lung. It's and the lung is this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to put it into the cut side of our balloon. And tape it so and that it'll be super airtight, right? Extreme airtight. Extreme. Mine really looks like the heart. Shot me in the face with a burst of air. All right, let's get yours all straightened up and. All right. Okay. Let's get it secured. Wait, you're using the wrong straw. Here's your half piece. Oh! That's the other one, Goof True. Okay. All right, this one goes in there. Welcome to Good Bug Home under Good Bug Ten Tick Order. Whoa. I'm shocked your lung didn't explode. All right. <laughs> There's blood on my laptop. Oh no! Oh dear. It's from the heart. Okay, so what we're going to do now. Whoa! <laughs> we're gonna take the other straw while Owen is being a total distraction. No, I'm not. And we're gonna make a two oh inch cut. So that it's split in half. Yeah. All right, I've got this cut now. I don't know if you can see it. Split. But there's like a little split right down the center. Yep. And then you... Then we're going to flip the straw around and make two cuts on the other side so that it'll go four directions at the same length, about two inches. This is precision work. Awesome. All right. There we go, it's cut in the floor. Now, Ports. what we're going to do here, we are going to tape one lung on either side of the two-way split straw. Not at the end that we've just cut, but on the other on side. On the other side. So we're probably both going to need to help each other. We need all the hands, right? Yeah. Now, why don't you hold it and then I'll tape it. And we gotta make sure that it's super airtight. Why do you think? So that. They're gonna point downward, actually. They're gonna point like that. You know what? I think that we could probably help ourselves by cutting. Like oh yeah. Groove. Yeah. I get it. Where's I know what you say. I know you know what I'm talking about? Yep. What are you talking about, Willis? Aging um, myself with that? What? I feel like I'm aging myself saying that. What do you mean? What are you talking about, Willis? What does that mean? Exactly. That's why I'm aging myself. No, what does aging yourself mean? means that I'm showing just how old I am. She's flirty, by the way. What? <laughs> no, I don't care. I'm 30 years young. Yeah. And I'm nine years old. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't make it to 30. So then, wait, if you're 30 years young, then that means... You're negative 30 years old. <gasps> no, I just think that you're only as old as you feel. And it's a blessing to live a wonderful 30 years like I have. And this hall's 50. You gotta stop saying.
birthday and things like that. Miss right. Hall probably doesn't want you to tell the world how old she is. So what? Right. You're gonna have to answer to Miss Hall. Okay. All right, let's see if it still works. Okay. Let's that see. might be hard though because I'm there's going. giant holes at the bottom. Okay, I'll do this. Oh, still works! Woo! Okay. All right. Next. <gasps> what do our this is what my say now? This is what my lungs are doing on the inside. Even as I'm blowing into it. I hope you're not breathing that hard. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the bottom off of our bottle here. And I'm gonna do this, bud, because yeah, you might need some safety purposes only. Yes, might need a parent to help you with this part. Parents' permission for these projects. No, I don't want anyone getting hurt. Yeah, I could use like a box cutter, but still, parent permission. Absolutely. There we go. All right, some of mom's water is still dripping out. I just finished that bottle, so it's not entirely dry. That's okay. All right. Oh, it's a drip. Yeah, the next instructions say to make a hole in the cap big enough to fit a straw in it. And this thumbtack is not gonna cut it. I tried to do it. I did it as hard as I can. And look. You can barely even see the hole. That's a no-go. Straw definitely won't fit in there. So Look at this. Yeah. Oh, I almost broke the straw. So I guess now we get to go tap into Mom's toolbox. <laughs> Best thing ever! <laughs> All right, for those of you at home, we've gotten out of the tool chest a 5 16 drill bit. Be careful, kids, including me. <laughs> the 5 16th drill bit is going to be sufficient only if you take a couple extra straws from Panera. Yeah. I don't know about, um, you know, McDonald's or Hardee's or other places. Yeah, because you're not allowed to eat those places. <laughs> The idea is... You're not allowed to eat fast food. Well. Kind of. Sometimes. Like chicken patties. Yeah, we don't eat a lot of fast food. But what you're going to do is you're just going to make sure that it fits about the circumference of your straw. Yeah. All right. So, I'll again, hold it. moms, dads, you do this part. It's kind of Lock messy. Lock the drill. It is a little messy, but it's all right. Let's see if a straw will fit. <gasps> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All right. All right, let's go, quickly. Obstacle overcome. We did it. Now. Now we stick it. Oh, the bottom. I'm just now seeing that Kiwi Crate says, here's a tip. We made the hole using a push pin and widened it with scissors. I think that would be even more dangerous. I don't like that idea. So, drill okay, away. Okay, so now we're going to place our lungs inside From the chest the cavity. Top. From mm. the bottom to the top of me. From the bottom to the top. Now my mama, she told me to worry about Everything's a song in our house. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to my house. I've taken so much. Show me what you do. <laughs> you don't have to go out. Man, this is hard. I've almost got it. Oh no, it's folded. Ah, success! Uh oh! What happened? It's alright. Okay, now it's fair to mention 
that our lungs are not anatomically correct because in your chest, they're placed right beside one another. Right, right here and right here. But this one is right here and right here. Yeah, they're a little lopsided. Caddy that doesn't slums. make sense because it's right next, like below your stomach. You know what though? It works. It works. As a long Totally works. Alright. There's next. a girl. I saw a girl that had her heart born. That was born with her heart outside of her chest. I saw that too. That was insane. Okay. So now. <gasps> oh, I get it. We're going to have to shorten ours because we're going to be folding these flaps over. And if we do that right now, they're all going to be all the way down to Yeah, here. they're outside of the chest. So let's pull it up to where it belongs and I'll trim. Surgery time! We'll go. Beep. Oh! Surgery. Surgery. And then Beep. 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 we'll make Beep. those cuts okay. again. It oh. tricked me. They're both in complete. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. And we're going to tape around the sides. And I'm thinking that it's gonna be really important that we don't cover the very top. Because that's like where the air goes in. Uh huh. What? <sighs> you can't breathe when you cover all the intake for air, right? So this breathing contest. turning blue on me. Mm -mm. Are you being stubborn? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What? Stubborn. I barely even took any breaths. <laughs> but you did take breaths? That's called cheating. No, I didn't. At the end, I'm talking about that. Oh. I didn't take a deep breath. Okay. All right. So that was like the beginning of the game for me. Here it is. Is it going to focus? We've taped all around in the tip top. But yeah, we I was still have cheating. Our whole <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for admitting. I was breathing through my nose. <laughs> you stinker. I was going like. I did too. Oh my <laughs> god. I didn't want to die. <laughs> we'll have to, to, to redo this in the pool this summer. Yeah. See who actually wins. All right, next step. I can barely step. hold my breath. <gasps> Let's not do that for reals. All right, next step. We're going to cut the top off of that remaining balloon. And no one? <coughs> need to All right, we're going to place this on the underneath. Are you ready? Ready. I'm going to stretch the balloon. I will hold the bottle. This is like those produce bags at the grocery store. Oh, yeah. It's hard to get them open. All right. I did it. You don't know if you're getting a whole bag or just getting one side. Here we go. Oh, that's sharp. Oh, yes. That's going to pop our lungs. Whoa. How about this? Move your others. finger. It's going to fly. Whoa. There's also this. There's so much. Yeah, we didn't cut this very nicely. Whoa. Whoops. Uh-oh. We gotta get that out. Stuff in the lungs. <sighs> Alright, restretch. Restretch in three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. And I think that it worked! Okay. It worked. Alright, alright. Now, <laughs> I think, what? Why is it not going? <gasps> it is. It's going! Watch. What? It's filling up with air. 
right, let's move it quick closer. Oh, watch as we inhale. Ooh. I'm not very good at this. Here, you pull down. Will you inhale for us? <gasps> Exhale. <sighs> inhale. <gasps> Exhale. <sighs> this is awesome. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My lungs didn't break, luckily. <laughs> Fun fact for you guys. If you doubled one penny every day for 30 days, you would have... $5,368.79.12. Wow. Thank you all for watching today's video. And what do you have to say, Mama? We successfully, frustratingly, but successfully built both a heart model and lungs. <gasps> That's pretty awesome. Yes. We did a really good job today. Yes, we did. And once again, thank you all for watching. She Academy out. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. Miss.